And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cheap Ludes, top of the morning to you, we got new all-star pantheon packs, and my dreaded nemesis, guaranteed packs have returned, which means no one's having fun today in NBA 2K21, my team. So, obviously, the guaranteed packs are never a good sign, that means the odds are about to be absolutely god-tier garbage, but we got... Dark Matter Zion, Dark Matter Jordan, Opal Vince, Opal Magic, Opal Paul George. So there's six Opal and above players. In theory, if I open the amount of packs that I'm about to open, I should get one of them, correct? Just one. I'm, I'm not picky. Hell yeah, Brent Berry. I did keep calling Jeff Hornacek, but I did talk about Brent Berry last night in a video I forgot to put up. Tim Legler, let's go. Spud Webb and Tim Legler are about to be... Um, just so bad. This is a... Uh, I am not about to have fun, so please subscribe to the channel if you like uh, pack openings without borderline psychotic cheerfulness. Alright, we got Tim Legler in a Hawks playbook. Great, okay. Now, guaranteed packs are not fun. Uh, the guaranteed packs are just a way for 2K to extract uh, BC from people, essentially. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. We got something off the rip here. Ooh, put back boss. Eric Pascal. Oh, man. Okay, Pink Diamond. So it's either Desmond Mason or Dale Ellis. Do they have to put both Pink Diamonds from the same, like, team? They have to do that? I don't even know which one's which. They both play the same position, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Desmond Mason. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he'll be all right. Uh, Silver Desmond Mason was solid. I guess. Granted, he doesn't really help me in Spotlight Sims. I don't know if there's a 10 Sonics players one. If there is, then yeah, he does, but that's it. Uh, okay. So we're five packs in, and we have four rubies. That's that's not good. Ooh, an Amethyst. And JB Bickerstaff. It wouldn't be long before I saw you, my old friend. Uh, I hope JB Bickerstaff's on Cameo so I can do like a JB Bickerstaff channel interview. All right, we got a diamond, and it's not even a diamond from the set. Oh my word. It's a current diamond, I believe. Yep, 93. Great. It's Anthony, all right, at least I didn't have Anthony Davis, I guess. I mean, I've had him three times. I just keep selling him, so the trend may continue. I don't know. <laughs> Dude. Uh... Yeah, Hero Spud Web again. Um, at least Hero Spud Web has his own separate challenges this time, and Tim Legler, great. Okay, so. Wow, Jesus. Alright. Not good. I don't even know why I'm putting these guys in my auctions. Oh, yeah, that's right, I got Hawks Playbook. I'm guessing a lot of people are going to have Hawks Playbook and drive the price down, but it was going for about 10k this morning, so we'll see. Adios, JB Bickerstaff. Yeah, this is about to be a rough pack opening. You know how, like, sometimes I wake up and I do the, you know, and I'm about to do these pack openings, and sometimes I'm like, you know what, I I feel like maybe today, like, I might get lucky. When I see those guaranteed packs, I am like, yeah, no, I'm not getting lucky. Like, <clears throat> I'm not getting a top-tier card. Look, I'm not picky, dude. I don't need to draw Dark, or dark Matter... Jordan or Dark Matter Zion. Yeah, that'd be nice. Honestly, I just want to see an I just want an Opal. If I do this whole thing and just get an Opal, I will be happy. And you guys know from watching my channel, rarely am I happy doing these pack openings. I've gotten six Tim Leglers already. That's not good. Dwight. Cool. Great. Dwight will be ridiculously cheap as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. He'll be cheap. At least he plays for the Magic. It'll help during the... Uh, <clears throat> the magic uh, spotlight sim challenges so I mean that's I'm trying to put a positive spin on it I was talking with a few creators today and like I just these packs man nobody's stoked for them well everyone was stoked for them but everyone knew the likelihood of pulling these cards was gonna be low I think the worst part about it is there's hero versions of these cards too and it's like I still can't get lucky and pull them. So there's like, in theory, Opal or above, there's like 9 to 10 cards, right? And I'm now two boxes in, and I haven't pulled a single one. Which is only 20 packs. I understand how odds work. It's an 8% chance. Okay, I get that. 
But if I go through this whole pack opening and I don't see an opal once, a, I'm at the point where I think 2K has it in for me at that point. Like, I don't, I only have 2,000 subs, man. 2K, sh I shouldn't, they shouldn't know about me. Granted, I do slander them on Twitter constantly, but... Look, <clears throat> people tell me all the time to play nice with 2K, but I mean, if you watch my pack openings, there's a reason I slander 2K. <laughs> like, there really is. Ugh, Spudweb is gonna be the death of me. So, so far, if you were to ask me, should I open these packs, a resounding no would be the response that I have for you, because these are terrible. So, there's a 40% chance to get a Pantheon player. These are 100%, obviously. In theory, they have better odds, but I promise you the non-guaranteed have basically the same odds to draw an Opal that these do. Or like that the guaranteed packs do, plus they cost less. That's just my theory on it. I mean, I, am I completely sold on it? I've had better luck with the non-guaranteeds than the guaranteeds, just because I can open double the amount of them. Which is hilarious. Also, I think my favorite thing about it is when they do these guaranteed packs, right? They'll turn around and they'll take these, and instead of being 7,500 VC, 10,500 um, MT to open, they'll just raise it up to 11,000 VC to open these for no reason. Because 2K is 2k like i see no feasible reason they should be doing that but they do it every time and nobody calls them out on it which lends credence to my theory that outside of maybe two of the larger creators 2k has every single one of them in their pocket or contractually obligated in some way shape or form <clears throat> most of them there's a few of them that i don't believe they do shout out to those guys <clears throat> but that's just me. Maybe I'm just rambling. I'm naturally conspiratorial. Also, when you draw, I have counted 17 spud webs at this point. Um, you know, you start to get a little uh, mad at the pack openings. I accidentally sent a uh, injury card. Oops, whatever. So, yeah, I can open about 13 more packs. If, at this point, if I open 13 more packs and I don't get an opal, I'm going to be upset. Even another pink diamond would be fine. Not Shea Gilgis Alexander. But, I don't know. I mean, I knew these packs were going to be garbage when they said they were dropping the Dark Matters in them. I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is about to be bad. But I had a little bit of hope, because I was like, okay, well maybe the Opals, since they're technically the new Pink Diamonds, will be a little bit easier to draw. And I'm finding that that is a resounding no. Uh, that is a resounding no, because it's an 8% chance to draw a 93 or above player. Now, what percentage of that is an Opal? Probably 1. Uh, or probably 2. What is that? A Dark Matter? Like 0 0.05, probably? Yeah, <laughs> Jalen LeCue. What's up, dog? Look, if anybody knows Jalen LeCue personally, or is has some way to get in contact with him, can you please just mention that this channel is his biggest fan, and that he should totally, like, come do a video with me, because that'd be sick. Or Dino Raja, you know, if someone finds him out in the wild of Croatia just tripping on mushrooms or whatever he's up to out there, find him and let him know that I'm his biggest fan. Dwight Howard. Where are my Croatian subscribers at? <laughs> Dwight Howard. Uh, these packs are bad. I'm just kind of rambling because I just don't even want to think about how bad my pack luck's been. Because it's been pretty bad. It's been, like, really, really bad. Um, I'm not having what I would consider to be a good time right now, or ever, realistically. <sighs> you know, I had someone comment the other day and ask me, why do you do pack openings with only 2,000 subscribers? Well, I enjoy doing them, number one. Probably going to open packs anyway, number two. Number three... Uh, how do you expect me to grow as a channel without doing the videos that people enjoy? <laughs> that's my that's my main thing. Also, it's like, what do, what do you want me to try to do? Gameplay videos? DBG probably has five of these cards out right now, and the packs came out six minutes ago. Like, what? How do you? How do I compete with that? You don't. Gary Clark. Why they pick? Man, if I was Gary Clark, I'd be so mad. Like, why did they pick this? <laughs> 
unflattering photo for me. Like, out of all the photos you can Google, that's the one you pick. Him doing a limp-wristed, like, pass. Uh, I'd be pissed. Shout out to Gary Clark. I've never watched him play basketball once, but, you know, it's cool. You gonna give me something good? There we go. Way to ruin the mystery, 2K. I hate when they put the card right in the middle. I can't even do that thing where I get somewhat hyped. They just immediately are like, ha <laughs> ha. All right, 94, cool. Pantheon. Quentin Richardson. Okay, this card I actually wanted, though he will be like 8K. That being said, though, for 8K, Quentin Richardson looks to be incredibly good. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Quentin Richardson is usually really, really good in-game. Uh, that's not even a joke. I actually like Quentin Richardson a lot. We do have a free pink diamond Ray Allen, which is pretty cool, which I'll probably go pick up. It's kind of a grind, but it's going to be worth it. But yeah, Q Rich is solid. He's got Clay Thompson release with... I don't really like Dominique's upper. It's the same upper as Wally's Erbiak, though. It's not terrible. It's just a little bit slow. It's on quick, though. But he's got good stats, good badges. Uh, Quentin Richardson's a great budget card. Especially somebody that you can pick up for that cheap. He's going to be really good. Like, don't sleep on Brent Berry. Brent Berry's going to be nice, too. Like, especially at the Amethyst tier. But with that being said... Do I want to continue to pick him up? No. But he's got the same release as Matt Barnes and Wally Zerbiak. So if you don't like Wally Zerbiak's release, you're going to hate this card. But if you do, more power to you. Also, it'd be great if 2K could stop giving every single card Curry Slide. Like, I get it. It's like a meta thing. You guys got to, like, sell packs. But, like, people are going to buy packs to try to get Galaxy Opal Zion Williamson anyway. People are going to buy packs to try to get Geo Paul George anyway. You don't need to give him Curry Slide. You don't. Like, you straight up don't have to do that. It doesn't need to happen. Like, we, we don't need that, man. Magic should be really good. Um, uh, Daniel Gafford, Jesus Lord. I'm, like, opening packs right now and then simultaneously on another screen checking the market. <laughs> so, <laughs> on a different account because I am insane. Anyways... Magic should be good, and he looks like people aren't bidding on him right now, and I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, he doesn't have a lot of shooting badges that you would need, and he doesn't have great defensive badges. But I'm guessing that his price will shoot up once there is a gameplay video. Once the gameplay video comes out, Magic Johnson will be four or five hundred k. It happens like that with Magic Johnson every time. His price is always really low unless he's like the main card from the set. And then a gameplay video comes out, and people are like, Oh, Magic Johnson is good in 2K. Yeah, no, I mean, he is, so. Paul George will be expensive just because he's Paul George. I could honestly see Vince Carter being the cheapest out of all of the Opals, though. Even though that should not be the case. I could see it. Oh, he's... No, Vince Carter's god tier. Legitimately. Just looking at his stats and stuff. He's... He's... No, oh my god. <laughs> this card. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, no. He's going to be so good. All right. This pack opening is hurting me on a level that I can't fully explain. Um, I'm sorry for anybody who has to watch this. This is bad, but please, guys. I'm going to continue to open packs. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm just going to clear some space out of here. Yeah, these spud webs aren't going for anything. I, I don't care. You know, some I'll bless somebody with a fucking spud web snipe. I truly don't care right now. Uh, well, yeah, where's that upper body pack? Yep, let me get rid of that Bobcats jersey. Literally no one wants. Never quick sell Jalen LeCue. Never. So, I hope this means... Okay, so my thing is... They're kind of shooting their load off on the hero cards pretty early, which is a good sign for the content for the rest of the season because I think we're going to get another... Uh, Retro pack. I think we're gonna get another idols. I could see them doing spotlight sims too. Like I, I could. We got the spotlight sim grinds. I could see them doing spotlight sim cards early next season, which would be awesome. And like I've said a thousand times, Jalen Lequeu needs a card. Somebody needs to try their hardest to drop a hundred points in a game with Jalen Lequeu or something. Send it to 2K. Get my man a card. That way he can follow me on Twitter and we can be friends. It's all gonna work out. Ugh. These packs hurt my soul. But I'm going to open more. I am going to. I just feel like with the amount of packs that I've opened that I probably should have pulled an opal. Right? Like, 
Especially because they're not even the top tier card anymore. Like, I should have. I haven't even gotten Sean Kemp or Dale Ellis to pull up yet. That's crazy. I've only pulled one pink diamond and one diamond this entire time. Uh, well, I mean, I, I pulled current Anthony Davis. I don't really count that. But that's how bad these packs are. Like, out of all the packs you guys have watched me opened up, I've pulled... Have I even pulled two Quentin Richardsons? I'm pretty sure I've only pulled one, unless I pulled one, like, while I wasn't paying attention, just opening packs, staring at the market. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure I've only opened the one Quentin Richardson and the one Desmond Mason. Which leads me to believe that there's some sort of, like, asterisk next to my account. Uh somewhere in the 2k database that states that I'm not allowed to have good pulls because they're trying to make me go away okay I'm not Neo so I don't think that might I don't think that's the case I think these packs just suck in general and my luck is terrible that's a super glitch it'll be like a bronze no it'll be spud web yep god damn it yeah I'm not Neo I'm not Neo from the matrix I'm not a threat to 2k's monetary gains I don't think I'm on their radar really be funny if I was though there's a little dartboard with like my channel's picture in it and whoever does the marketing for 2k they're just chucking darts at it every single day my pack percentage is like 0 0.001 for a dark matter I have only pulled two JB Bickerstaffs too right I think I've probably pulled more I just haven't been paying attention that's crazy JB is my boy also like it's crazy that I've opened this many packs and like a, I haven't pulled any of those big cards, which is, like, that's normal, you know? Whatever. But it's, like, I also haven't pulled any, like, a diamond coach or, like, a diamond contract or, like, any of that stuff. Like, and I've barely pulled any really badges. I got a bronze flexible. I think I got a bronze dead eye at some point, too. But I'm just having terrible luck on, like, every single front. Like, there's not a single front where my luck has been good. Um... Yeah, so I guess the answer, or the question would be, should you guys buy these packs? And I would say no. If you want to try your luck and go open a couple non-guaranteed packs with MT, I, of course 2K discounted the BC today, so that means that the pack odds are really trash. If 2K is discounting BC, your pack odds are garbage. Like, that's how... The two things that signal a pack having awful, awful odds are going to be guaranteed packs and discounted VC, and this one has both. So, big yikes. Everyone else, I'm sure my comment section will be filled with people who rip one pack and just, like, pull MJ or pull Zion. And I would like to think that my terrible pack luck is paving the way for you guys to do that. That's, that's the only way I can stay sane by rationalizing things like that. By saying, yeah, my pack luck is so terrible that it's allowing other people to pull good cards. And that makes me feel somewhat better. Because I do this for a living. So, terrible pack bowls are great. Look at Sam Morell. Why is he looking at me like this? I watched you play the other night when I was in Milwaukee, dude. Shout out to Bull Bull who hit this nasty step back three while I was at the game. And it was legitimately the only part of the Nuggets Bucks game that I was at that I was hyped about. Everything else was awful. Also, my man Pat Connaughton was throwing it down. He wasn't. He had like 10 points, but 10 points for a guy who looks that unathletic and white in the NBA is crazy. Gives me hope. Bradley Beal. Great. Just great. Oh, my God. All right, so... Now, the question remains... For the rest of the hero cards, right? Like Steph Curry and Clyde Drexler, like they've kind of broken the seal on opals. Like Dark Matters are the new, the new thing. So 2K has kind of done that. I honestly think that was stupid of them personally. Um, they should have just kept the opals going for a little bit. I think breaking the Dark Matter seal was dumb because now every pack that comes out has to have a Dark Matter in it. Like every Friday promo. So they basically irrelevant, made Opal semi-irrelevant. But it is what it is. So now, <clears throat> in theory, you probably got to make like Curry a Dark Matter, like Clyde Drexler, um, some of the other guys that are coming out. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> Do I even open anymore? 
I don't, I know. Now I'm done. I'm done with the odd. Uh, in theory, like, I should be able to pull something eventually because my odds have been so bad, but yeah, look at my pulls. After all those packs, this is what I have to show for it. I didn't even get Sean Kemp. That's crazy. Couldn't even give me that. Or Dale Ellis. I love Dale Ellis, man. I wouldn't have been excited. You could have at least given me, like, Paul George or something. Like, Magic would have been great. That's the only card I want is Magic, legitimately. Like, yeah, Zion and MJ are cool. I would like Vince Carter, too, but... Yeah, look at look at how many how many dark matters there are. There's a lot of Zion. Zion looks like he's easy to pull. My, MJ does not. There's a lot of Zions, uh, not a lot of MJ. So Zion is clearly the easiest out of the two to pull, in both respects. Um, and as far as opals, I'm guessing Vince Carter or Paul George is the easiest to pull. But could be Magic for all I know. Uh, I didn't even get that many shoes, man. What did I even pull half this time? I didn't even get badges or anything? Dude, I got nothing. This is crazy. All right, anyways, let's look at some of the daily challenges while I'm still here. I'm going to do a whole market video on all the cards later, so definitely check that out. So we got Colin Sexton as the free card. He actually looks like a pretty good free amethyst. And then we got Pink Diamond Ray Allen, who, for all intents and purposes, is going to be a great free card, but doesn't look too much different from the Pink Diamond one from Season 3. I think season two. I mean, he's definitely better. He's got a better badge count and stuff like that, but his sigs and stuff are all the same. He's just an updated version of that one. But as a free card, he's going to be a really good free card. Um, and you know I hate giving 2K credit, especially when they make me so deeply depressed like after that pack opening. Shout out to my man Mills, who's going to open packs later on and probably pull like two Dark Matters, and I'm going to be seething with envy. So anyways, please drop a like on this video, help me out, check the description for all my stuff, and I'll be back with more content later. Peace.